understanding my destiny and the power I possess. Exposing, empowering my greatness in the Welcome to Dunamis Women Today. I am Dee Collins and I am the host of the show and I am so excited to be with you once again. It's been a long time. Fresh content, new season, new day, new opportunity, and guess what? You do not want to miss the mark. Not in this hour, not in this season. So I am here because I know you all are familiar with this face. Oh my God. Did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Obasi. Michelle, what's up? Hey, everything is up. Everything I'm is up. I'm enjoying myself. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying life, but it is most wonderful to be back. It in is. Front of the it camera. is. It, it is. is. It really. It feels so I'm good. I'm excited about today. It, it's been a lot that has been going on, not just in our lives, mm -hmm. but in the life of God's people. Yes. And today, we want to bring an understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, understanding your greatness and the power you possess. Okay. In all that getting, get an understanding. And you got to understand that dunamis, that power that you possess because it's for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And when God created us, he created us male and female. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we transitioned to become man and woman. So we cannot do too much of this kingdom purpose without us working together, Most without definitely. us working together. So um, you you know, wanted to uh, drill me today. I sure do. Uh, I want to talk to you. Wait, can, can I, can I finish? Can you, oh, oh okay, 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 all right, all right. Yeah, you want to drill me. You want to drill me? You want to get some, some, some information, revelation mm -hmm. um, about some things? Yes. Okay, I just want to set the stage so people can know Please what they do, up to. I'm okay, I know, I know. Uh, and I must be crazy because I've given this opportunity. Uh, nothing scripted. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing planned. Right. It's just straight from the throne room. Straight and that's what the, the kingdom room. is about. It's a kingdom. Uh, upon this rock, upon this revelation, I will build my church. That's so deep. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Guess what? True. We are the church. We are. The building is not the church. The edifice is not the church. God's people is the church. So we're going to build up the church today. I'm gonna let you go for them. I'm a, now I've, I've done. That's, now it's all on you. Wait, I'm glad that you allowed. <laughs> I allowed you to do that because we talk about building. Okay. And one of the things that I have uh, really found lately is the building of of people, and mm. particularly our men. Yes. Yes. And I have been in situations, whether it be my significant other, my brother, whomever. Our men are broken. Mm -hmm. Our men are very broken and within our communities, we have to be built up. Mm -hmm. But I know order starts with God, man, woman, mm -hmm. pretty much mm -hmm. set in order today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because our men are disenfranchised for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And it's, I'm seeing generation after generation of generation. Mm -hmm. So I often ask like all of these great men, where are you? Okay. Great do man, you, where art thou? Great man, where mm -hmm. art thou? Do you even know mm -hmm. who you are? And I'm asking these questions and they're looking at me like, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So today, I wanted to talk about, and I, I go back to scripture. Oh, was, Lord, here ah, we go. Yeah, I, I hope, Lord, I hope she get it I'm right. I'm not like I used to be. Well, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I am. I went back to Genesis. Okay. Where God talked about, uh, he created man in his own image. Mm hmm and a lot of men just, they don't even, they can't even fathom mm -hmm. that. They can't even mm -hmm. fathom. You talk mm -hmm. about understanding your greatness. They don't even know that mm -hmm. or they don't believe that anymore mm -hmm. because it, it, they're not esteemed in that manner. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I look at all of the stuff that's been going on in this world, the attacks, mm -hmm. whether it be police, whether it be one another, uh, deportation in different countries, mm -hmm. just the, the emasculation of our men okay. that has destroyed our families. Okay. So I want to, I want to, I want you to, to talk to me, but also talk to the men, great men. Where art thou? Okay. Now do you want me to talk to you or do you want me to talk to the men? Talk to the Are men, you talking but about it from a totality standpoint? You know what I'm saying? Um, just talk to the men. It's only so much I can say. And I don't even <laughs> have the knowledge because my patience ain't that long. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, man, you great. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, um, great man, where art thou? 
it, it, it hinges from a teaching, mm -hmm. okay, that um, it, everyone can have, everyone can, can, can get, and it, it's going to accompany uh, the book that I'm writing, Great mm -hmm. Man, Where Art Thou? Um, it goes back to where it stems from. It's the silent cry of a woman's heart. The okay. key is silent cry, mm -hmm. okay? Because it's silent, we have repressed. We have suppressed, first of all, mm -hmm. where now we're repressing many things that have come to damage us, but we don't see that it's damaging us. For mm -hmm. instance, we have the, we as women have broken through many barriers where we can make our own money, we're head of households, mm -hmm. we, we could drive a car, you know, we even open up the door for ourselves, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You know, a lot of the grace and the tenderness, you know, that we were created to receive, we have repressed that. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It makes sense. I do. Um, mm -hmm. you, do. <laughs> <laughs> right. you know, and it feels weird. You mm -hmm. know, I, I mean, I have a, a great man in my, and he would, likes to open up the door. And it's like by the time he come around, I'm like, I could have been out of this car. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So just to sit and to wait, mm -hmm. just to sit and to wait, mm -hmm. it's very difficult for us in our society at large, particularly as women, because we're at such at a deficit, and when you're at a deficit and you're deprived, mm -hmm. it makes you want it more and you're more urgent for it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. So what we have a tendency to do is settle for the good man mm. as opposed to the great man. Now, I don't believe no man is a dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, just they just dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Who your mama? Who raised you? <laughs> you know, uh, they're, they're not. They're, they're, they're good, but mm -hmm. we want great. Yes, okay, we do. We do. Uh, and I believe every man uh, has the capacity to operate in the greatness of mm -hmm. who they are. That's why it's dunamis women and real awesome men, you know. So because with great, you need another and you need another and you need mm -hmm. another in order to bring greatness about. Okay, great is not cons is n has nothing to do with your your revenue. It has nothing to do with your salary. It has nothing to do with uh, your car, the quality, the make, the model. It has nothing to do with your suit, the, the shoes and the things that you wear, mm -hmm. okay? What's that finger for? Because historically, as you're talking, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll, I'll go back to reference the plantation, mm -hmm. where, you know, masters provided for their wives, mm -hmm. material things, mm -hmm. and our men were not able to, mm -hmm. you know, in that capacity. Mm -hmm. And so looking at them, and I think about some of the men that I know who strive for material things, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not only for themselves, but for mm -hmm. their families, mm -hmm. but it goes back to the history of neglect and abuse generationally that we have experienced, you know, in enslavement, which Correct. still enslaves our minds now, which makes a man think he got to have all of this material stuff to be great. Correct. So it's the biggest lie. Correct. Because when you have deprivation mm -hmm. and you have been impoverished or deprived, it makes you want to hoard and harbor on things that makes you appear to be great when you really have right. very little confidence or substance. Okay. Okay. Now, and that's why I asked you, okay, what, 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 what angle were you coming from? Mm -hmm. Because I see men as men. Okay. So if I just took men, you know, let's, let's go there. Mm -hmm. We're not just referring to, well, African-American men or black men, you know, we're all talking men. about all men. All so if men. I want to take the example, let's use for an example, you have a man who is of one race mm -hmm. called your master, slave master. Mm -hmm. You have a man who's of another race that they're utilizing for their benefit. Correct. Okay. Kingdom is never about controlling or using people. That's true. Okay. We have done that through a religious standpoint. Okay, mm -hmm. people were never created to rule and govern people. People were created to work complementary mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are, man, woman, black, white, blue, Greek, polka dot, stripe, you know what I'm saying? How do we come together as a people? And that's what the kingdom is about. Mm -hmm. Kingdom is about taking a diverse people to show how different we are, but how powerful we are and how complimentary we are. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. So if he wanted everybody, if God wanted everybody to be of one epidermis and of one mindset and of one of this of as far as how we think culturally wise, you know, he would have done that. You know what Correct. I mean? But he made diversity. 
Mm -hmm. You know, but he never made us to lord over one another. That's true. There's one Lord, mm -hmm. one faith, one baptism. So what you're what we're experiencing is first of all, a man using another man is mm -hmm. is a breakdown of character. Mm -hmm. It's a breakdown of confidence. It's a breakdown. That's 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 a demoralizing thing because realistically, even a man using a woman. It's a woman's, we understand that. Broken, yeah. We're broken, mm -hmm. you know? I don't care who you are. We were not made for a man to lord over us. You right. understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In a way that we're not created to be who we are as beautiful women. Mm -hmm. Yet we, they like the benefits, you know? It's, it's, it's demoralizing that you can lord over me and control me, and, and, and yet you want me to make love to you. That's going to be the first five minutes of your life, baby. No, I mean, but we do it. Well, yeah, we I mean, do it. And, 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 and think about it, we're not even I making love. It. We're just we're going just through it. We're, we're like dogs in heat. Yeah, you I'm know, just you, you're act. just going through the act. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not experiencing your own true pleasure of, mm -hmm. of, of being loved and, and giving back. You know what I'm saying? And engaging, you know? Mm -hmm. um, all women experience that. Mm -hmm. You're just a black woman. All women, all, women. all women, you know? Because we don't, it, talk about it. we don't talk about it, which is why we're here today. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, which I'm just throwing out some things to, 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 to stimulate our thinking. Mm -hmm. Not our thinking of a conscious state, but our subconscious, Correct. the places where we have repressed the truth, the places where we have suppressed things mm -hmm. and suppressed them to the point is silently killing us. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's a silent killer. And if we don't talk about it, and if we don't understand, oh great man, why art thou? Because we need you. We don't need nothing more than your heart and your mind. The two things that they are dis detached from, is, a lot of them, is, not, is not there, everybody. Many is the heart and their mind. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take a break because okay. we want you to be a part of, of a movement that we're in to say, hey, men, we need you, but yet women, we need ourselves. Yeah. You know, uh, And that's what kingdom partnership is about. Kingdom partnership is not just for you to give and don't engage. It's for us to come together that greatness may abound and you may understand your greatness and the power you possess. So we're gonna come right back and we're gonna go more into, oh great man, where art thou? To answer some of her questions and all the stuff she got on her chest and I'm sure you have it on yours as well. I'm Dee Collins, talk to you in a minute. Hello everyone, I am Michelle with Dunamis Woman and Real Awesome Men International Ministries coming to you once again about kingdom partnership. When God created the heavens and the earth, he created male and also female, not for us to lord over one another, but for us to work together in unison. We all have dunamis power on the inside of us, but many of us don't know who we are. Many of us don't know our purpose. Kingdom partnership gets you to where you need to be. I'm a product of the product. I've gone through it, I've been coached. I understand now the greatness that's on the inside of me. That is my dream and my breath. That is my prayer for each and every person on this earth because I know it will change and transforms lives, transform our community. So I, I really challenge you or I invite you, I should say, to Kingdom Partnership. Visit us on our website. We have the information on there and call our 1-855 number. Talk to us. So thank you, and I hope to hear from you soon. things that I got out of this evening. First of all, um, networking is like dating. Do not approach somebody and just think that you can ask them to get married tomorrow. Um, it's a process and I love that. Um, the second thing is energy. Dee is awesome and amazing. I love the fact that she says that I am meant for this and I am nothing is going to come my way that I cannot handle and nobody's taking away my energy. It's your vision that you're pushing towards and that sometimes you have to be the biggest person that encourages you. And as long as you hold on to that, then you know you will actually be able to gravitate people towards you that will want to help you and they will do business with you because of who you are and more so than what you're trying to do.
I am Devetta D. Collins. I am a life and relationship expert, power coach, spiritual leader, and advisor, and I have been doing this since 2002. You only have one you, and when that's done, it's done. But to bring life to people, turning their fear into faith, that whatever you believe, you can accomplish it. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. Eliminate excuses, break through those barriers, and you will see your dream become a reality. What you should expect at your first visit with me is blatant truth. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be open, and I'm going to be transparent. I'm going to disclose a part of my journey. So you need to be ready because my journey is going to impact you, you know, and it's going to allow you to be blatant, it's going to allow you to be truthful, it's going to allow you to be honest, and you have to really be sick and tired of being sick and tired of yourself and be ready for change. All of this for me is about building a legacy. But the legacy starts with the heart. It's not with the profession of who I am. It's the woman, it's the mother, uh, it's the grandmother. You know, it's all of that that I may impart into them. I can't go out here and save the world and lose my own. I really want to emphasize that I am here for you. Why owe you? There's none other like you. Give me a call, 847 908 0650. You can always visit me on the web, dspeaksyouthink.com. I can't wait to hear from you because I am here for you more than you know. So let's go back to Great Man, Where Art Thou? Mm -hmm. uh, which is um, turning out to be a, 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 a great book uh, mm -hmm. that will be released within the next 60 to uh, 90 days mm -hmm. max. Uh, so, uh, hey, you should start getting your, your copy right now. Prepare for it. Um, a Silent Cry of a Woman's Heart. Um, it, it's going to have a teaching mm -hmm. uh, about some things uh, that you can really sit down and look at. You know, it's going to be a, a, one of the best sellers. You know what I mean? I think it's needed. I, I know the timing is now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been in my belly for a long time, mm -hmm. you know, but I had to go through processes. I had to go from a good man to a great man from a, understanding those things and, and great men just don't give you stuff. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. challenge you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, give me, now, now, now that you're hitting that. I'm hitting that. Mad. Am I hitting it, girl? I hit something. We, I, I don't want you necessarily to define good and great. Mm -hmm. But give me three things that are representative in a great man. Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready. A great man will challenge you. Okay. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard for me to not talk about the good when I talk about the and not to, and talk about the great flow and not talk about the good. Go Can I do no, it? Flow. Can I do flow it? However you want. Um, a great man. When I say challenge you, mm -hmm. they will not challenge you. Just oh, do this, do that, or do mm -hmm. that. That's see, that's Amorite. You know, that's a whole nother teaching. Right. You know, that's a that's a control dominance of insecurity. Mm -hmm. You know, a great man is secure in who he is. Uh, he knows where he's going, uh, and he doesn't outright give you his thoughts or his plans. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like God. You know, when he said, let us make man in his image, God already knows the plans that he has for our life. Mm -hmm. Now, he's not going to tell you all about it. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The more you seek him, uh, the more he will reveal, but he only going to still reveal in part. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you got to seek him, you know, and you got to seek him. And you got to seek them and you got to understand. And when they talk about seek, uh, I'm just going to use from Matthew 6, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Well, we misuse that just like we misuse the great man because we seek God by saying, let me go to church and all these things are supposed to be added to you. Mm -hmm. But I have all these other priorities that I'm tending, you know. So we go and seeking doesn't mean you go to church. Seeking means I literally have to get into the mind of God to understand his, his, his plots and his strategies based upon the plans that he has for me and our relationship. So it is with God, so it is with a great man. You understand what I'm saying? You don't nag him. Meaning woman. Woman. Okay. A great man, you can see it in his posture. Okay. You understand it's what I'm already, saying? Okay. It's already there. It's already his position. A great God, he's already positioned. Mm -hmm. He's already postured himself. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? A good God, God is good. We just looking for benefits. Right. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We looking mm -hmm. for benefits. Great man is long term. I'm going to move 
in my timing to move. Mm -hmm. And nothing don't move me before that timing. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And a good woman can get frustrated with a great man. Because a good woman is just looking for, you're going to take me out, you're going to do this, you got this, you got this. It's benefits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to even engage you until I see the benefits. A great man knows what he already has planned, but he want to see if you are, can handle what he has by your own positioning, your own purpose, your own vision, your own posturing. Can you handle what I have? Mm -hmm. The capacity. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's just like a, you could have, you got a great God, but what I have for you, I'm going to use my, myself for example. Mm -hmm. Understanding your greatness and the power you possess. Dunamis, I serve a great God. I don't just serve a good God. Mm -hmm. I serve a great God. I'm being proven all the time. Mm -hmm. The much is given, much more is required. Okay. D, much is given, much more is required. God, when is it going to all manifest? Much is given, much is required. You know what I'm talking about. Well, most definitely. You know, it's been 12 years. Much is given, much is required. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You meet with somebody else, much more is required. But there's still an end. Most definitely. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So many people can't even do the process because they want it like now. this. Entitlement. Yeah. Entitlement. Mm -hmm. It's an entitlement mentality. Entitlement mentalities doesn't stimulate great men. Mm. Okay. So that's all about the challenge. Does that make, that sense? make sense? You got to prove it. Not that you're proving to a man. You, you don't prove anything to anybody. Mm -hmm. I don't prove nothing. But I prove the acceptable will of God for my life that a great man is sitting back and observing. So God sends these great men in our lives. That you don't, even, you don't even know they're there though. Now that went over my head and I hear crickets. I need you to stop sipping on that look coffee. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Because I promise you, Michelle, there's a great man somewhere. Mm -hmm. that as you continue to fulfill purpose, he will see you and you don't even know he's in your midst. So Boaz. He will observe you. Yes. And he'll, you'll, you'll, all you have to do is continue to follow instructions according to purpose, as Ruth did with Naomi. Do I wear my low cut? No, you just, you just be yourself because they're observing you. You don't know who's watching you. Okay. Does that make sense? That's so crazy to me. Well, but God knows. But God knows. You know, but see, but, it, but, but because you want to know, you'll settle for the good. And that's where your frustration comes from. Because you want to know you're settling for the good. Because I'm anxious. Because, well, it's not because you're just anxious you've got to have a man. You want some assistance. You want some help. You need some relief. Yeah. And a good man is only going to relieve you because he wants something from you. Mm-hmm. And, and it comes out in the wash. <sighs> but a great man, like the word says, a know, great he man, find, he, he finds you. Oh, most you definitely. You after him. Most definitely. But, you know, subconsciously, or is it consciously? Subconsciously. subconsciously mm -hmm. We seek and we don't even know. We, we, like we, when I make them phone calls. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. You're That's seeking seek. because you're seeking out of your deprivation. Remember, your deprivation. Mm. There's two things. You're either going to be deprived or you're going to be enriched. And when I seek a tr law of attraction, uh -huh. I'm only attracting that good man. Because you're a good woman. Say what? You're a good woman. Are you a great woman, though? I'm a great woman. In your mind. But your, your posture is still you're a good woman. Because of the seek. Because of so the I'm seek. So I'm living a lie. Right to yourself, now, to myself, because a great woman requires more demands on her life that she can patiently wait because she's fulfilling that purpose and not even thinking about those That's types a whole of things. Show. That's a whole nother because show. Because I promise you, women who think we're great, mm -hmm. and I'm not, we're not, I'm not down in that. Mm -hmm. But we have a, a faulty mindset. You well, know what I'm there's a lot of good. Mm -hmm. it, it, it goes back to as as we come to an, a close because you all are gonna have to. I mean, you really gonna they're gonna have to engage. There's only so mm -hmm. much you can do on a show. But realistically, I, in my mind goes back to the scripture in Matthew 7 when, when, when Christ said, uh, broad is the gate, many who find it. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Narrow is the way, and few who find it. That's great. Mm -hmm. Great requires so much that it narrows you down. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Think about it. I was reading a book um, written by Donald Trump, um, and the statistics, statistics may have changed, but I'm sure they're not having changed that much. But in the whole world, there's 537 billionaires. See, that's great. Mm -hmm. Out of all these people in the world, there's 537 at that time when I read that book. Billionaires. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Many people have the, the ability to be a billionaire. They have the potential to be a billionaire. But the reason why that 537 is, is because all that that they got to go through and continue to do, mm -hmm. they lo people lose track, sight of it. Distractions. 
Okay. He didn't. He didn't just become whoever those five hundred thirty-seven are. Um, they didn't just become that because oh, God had a blessing for them. Mm -hmm. You know, they had to commit, sacrifice, work, loyalty. Mm -hmm. You know, um, manage their time differently. Mm -hmm. You know, we as a people that are good at things that we do, we have so many things that come to distract us that we're just looking for the good. Mm -hmm. And we're missing out on the great. Does that make sense? I got it. You can't have greatness without a great demand on your life. I can't just, I want greatness. So I have to do things. And the first thing that God told Abraham to do was to leave his kin in his country. Many of us can't be great because we're too tied to family. Mm -hmm. Not saying your family is wrong. You understand what I'm saying? But he had to get his mind. He said, leave your kin in your country because I got to put you in a whole nother environment mm -hmm. to retrain your mind. So I hope great men are listening and, and, and good women are listening. It's, um, it's, it's so much more in depth. I, I want people to start engaging with you more. Do you? Because um, I only gave you one thing that you, you said. You only gave me one thing. And, and we have but I, I, coming. I, yes, I want we people do. to engage. If you learn something today, Okay. By listening. It's mm -hmm. deep. It's Twitter. Tweet. Tweet. Is that Tweet. what it is? Tweet her. <laughs> <laughs> it's D speaks the letter U think. That's her, her, her handle, her mm -hmm. name. I'm getting this And they can see down. it on the lower third. See it on the lower thirds. Mm -hmm. But I, I want them to really start engaging. Okay. Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, look at the Periscope videos, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And get your questions answered. Mm -hmm. But most of all, the Kingdom Partnership. Mm-hmm. Because if you are a great man or a good man trying to be a great man, or if you are a, what you thought was a great woman, but you're really a good woman trying to be a great woman, you can't do it by yourself. There's only one truth, mm -hmm. and that is the truth. Okay. And Christ said, I am the way, the way, the truth, the life. Mm -hmm. When you put T-H-E in there, it's making it very specific. It's no longer generalizing it, mm -hmm. and it's only one, and that's the truth. So we could think a whole lot of things, mm -hmm. but the truth will remain, and the truth never has to be defended. Right. In your mind, you have the potential to be great. Everyone does. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, are you ready for greatness? Mm -hmm. Something has to change. I am Dee Collins. Thank you for listening. I'm the host of this show, and I look forward to engaging with you, Twitter, Facebook, Periscope, all that stuff they got going on out there. Instagram, mm -hmm. all that. But most of all, I look to be in your area as we have workshops, mm -hmm. legacy summers, seminars just for you because you are a next level leader. Thank you for watching. Do the best, do the best